Well, for more, our contributor and former chief of the San Bernardino Police Department, Jared Bergwan, joining me now. So, Jared, what do you make just of these string of shootings that we have been covering? Just it, it responses to simple mistakes. Yeah, you know, we, we call them mistakes, but what it really is is bad judgment on the part of individuals. Anytime you have uh, any type of, uh, you know, uh, gun crime or somebody discharges a gun, even if they try to claim that it was uh, some type of justifiable uh, use of force or self-defense of some type, there's an investigation that truly scrutinizes the decision making in each of those cases. And it's part of that process of whether or not something is murder, uh, murder one, murder two, or, or, or down to something like manslaughter, you really scrutinize the intent and you scrutinize the decision making. And each of these examples are just horrible examples of, of people making decisions that are not appropriate. Uh, and, and, and in many cases, simply, you know, immature, stupid people. I mean, it's shooting first and asking questions later. And that's not how you are trained to use a firearm. So is, I mean, what is your feeling here? Is this about access? Is this about training? Is this about gun laws? Is this, I mean, I guess there, there's so many questions involved with, and, and not enough answers on how to deal with it. Yeah, I think Pierre put it pretty well in his piece that, you know, we have an enormous debate in this country over the Second Amendment and the interpretation of that Second Amendment. And I think that there is something that regardless of where you stand on it, there is a piece that we can have an expectation that if you are going to own a gun, that you are a responsible gun owner, that you make proper decisions, uh, that you are going to store it appropriately, yeah. uh, and you're going to ex exercise common sense in the ownership and the possession of that gun. And there should be consequences when you don't. And uh, there needs to be consequences in this case. Uh, there needs to be prosecution. There needs to be uh, there needs to be people held accountable when they make bad decisions. And that I don't think is a political debate. I, th I think we are largely in agreement that there needs to be good decisions, regardless of where you are on the overall issue of ownership of guns. Uh, you have to make good decisions if you have a gun. And, you know, the permit process, it varies from state to state. So should something be done about that? Is that where we start? I'm sorry, did you say the permit process? Yes. Yeah. There are differences. There's obviously uh, states that, uh, that lean heavily on, you know, the more uh, conservative side of this discussion, so to speak, that have concealed carry laws in place and, uh, you know, laws that at least allow it or, or have a more... Uh, liberal interpretation of, of what it means to open carry or, or concealed carry. And there are states that are much more stricter on it. Uh, I will tell you, as a police officer, I, I, I obviously carried a gun my entire career uh, on duty. And even police officers off duty, a vast majority of time, uh, they are armed. It's a kind of a part of the job. It is, there is a significant sense of responsibility that comes with doing that, and there is a lot of training. Uh, we would talk to our people constantly about if you're going to carry a gun off duty, how you need to do it, uh, how it needs to be secured on your body. Uh, you know, we encourage people not to leave it locked up in a car for fear that the, the car can get broken into. Police officers have an enormous amount of training. They have to think about this all of the time. When you have states that openly allow people to uh, carry guns, uh, whether they're concealed or not concealed or or something of that nature, there has to be that sense of responsibility that goes with it. Uh, the challenge is that we are so divided on this topic and this debate, it's, it's, it's almost as if you can tell somebody, well, sure, in this state, you can carry a gun concealed, but we're not going to go into the, having this larger discussion about what's really expected of you to demonstrate that you've got the maturity to do it. Uh, and that, I think, is problematic. Therein lies the heart of the problem, indeed. Jared, thank you so much. Unfortunately, we'll probably be talking about this for a long time to come. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.